Hi everyone, in this video we will see how we can easily replicate real handheld noise on our Cinemachine cameras. As you can see, I have a scene from Neon in which I have my virtual camera selected. We're gonna head to the inspector tab and find the noise module. At the moment, we do not have any kind of noise applied to our camera. Let's just preview and see what it looks like. The little movement you can see is actually due to the damping of the aim on the Cinemachine virtual camera. Now if we go back to our noise module and click on none, we can actually choose the noise algorithm that will generate the noise. At the moment we only have the basic multi-channel Perlin noise. Of course you can add other algorithms to use instead of this one. In our case we will stick with the one we have already. So as soon as I choose my type of noise, I have a warning that pops up and says a noise profile is required. We have a bunch of preset noise profiles available for use here. Let's select the first one, which is the handheld normal extreme. And preview the clip. In a very simple few steps, we now have noise applied to our camera. Usually handheld noise is very tricky to replicate in a real and convincing way, but Cinemachine and its profiles completely change the game because this procedural noise is extremely easy to use, it scales easily as well, and if you're blending between two cameras that each have their own noise, they will blend seamlessly. Now you may have noticed we have two settings over here. The amplitude will define the amount of noise to be applied and you'd want to change that depending on what lens you're simulating and how subtle or not you want your shake to be. Whereas the frequency will define the speed of the noise in Hertz. Now if we click on the little cogwheel over here, we have four options. The first one, edit, will give us the option to edit the current profile or we can clone it and then change the settings so that we do not lose the profile we already have. We can locate the profile in our project. So if I click on locate and head to my project tab over here, I can see that all my noise profiles are inside a folder. And lastly, the new option will give us uh, the possibility of creating a new profile from scratch. Although it can be really tricky to do that, please do experiment and uh, have fun. So now let us clone this profile and locate it. The profile has been renamed to CM Master Noise. CM Master is the name of my virtual camera and Noise stands for the Noise Profile. And it has been placed inside a folder which is named after my scene, which is the first area lights, underscore profiles. Now let us edit this profile. In here we have a lot of values we can change. For this to be easier, let us just collapse all those. So as you can see, we have position, orientation, and elements zero to two. So although both position and orientation will affect your camera movement, orientation will give you the most convincing camera shakes. But this doesn't mean that you should not experiment mixing them together, and who knows, the results might be exactly what you're looking for. Now the size will determine how many noise channels we have. So for instance, here we have three. We have element zero, one, and two. If we expand each of those elements, each of those elements has three axes, X, Y, and Z. And each axis has amplitude and frequency values. All those values combine to create the noise profile. And again, in addition to the noise channels we just saw, we have amplitude and frequency gain, which apply to the whole noise profile. So this really gives you endless possibilities when it comes to customizing and creating your own personal noise profile for the camera. So don't hesitate to try out all these options and create your very own profiles and your own type of noise if you'd like.